uh, Dennis Dahl Middlesex Water Company, um, updating folks on the uh, issue with uh, Forever Chemicals in the water. Can you tell us what changed with the most recent notification? Why did you end up notifying more people than the first time? Did you get new numbers or? Sure. Well, the, the hydraulic models that are the basis on which we determine how the water flows out of our well field in South Plainfield continue to be updated with additional assumptions, um, different algorithms, and as we continue to evaluate those models, we concluded that there was a possibility, not a certainty, but a possibility uh, that more of this water from this well field was being distributed further out into the, the distribution network. So in terms of exercising an abundance of caution, uh, we, we were not able to say with absolute certainty that no amount of this PFOA was reaching the outer reaches of our distribution system, but we were confident and are continue to be confident that it extended no further than north of the Raritan River, the, ba the boundary of the Raritan River. So on that basis, no matter how small amount of this chemical may be in the water at the, the outer reach of the distribution system, which could be virtually non-detect, frankly, but again, we couldn't say that with certainty. So we concluded it was in our best interest and in our customers' best interest to just completely include the distribution system all north of the Raritan River. So to be clear, you're notifying all customers of your uh, company north of the Raritan River, and that would include additional towns now like Carteret, and, and what about Highland Park? I didn't hear um, Highland Park. Well, Highland Park is a, is a contract operation of ours. We're not the, the owner of, of that system, but they are included in the, in the geographic area. Um, the, so yes, Carteret was the only town I recall that was now included for the first time, but it was portions of the other towns that were previously included. Okay, but what about folks in Highland Park? Should they be concerned about this? I believe Highland Park was receiving, well, as a contract customer, we notify Highland Park of everything that we notify our retail customers of. Um, the, the, and I would have to have Dave Brogel, who's our the director of production at the plant, uh, give you an idea about how Highland Park may be affected. But Highland Park is directly adjacent to our, our surface water treatment plant, so they're getting virtually all of their water from the, from the surface plant. So it would be my assumption, and I, again, I need Dave to validate that, that Highland Park, it's less of, a, of a, an issue for Highland Park than frankly many others. Okay, so you've done meetings in three of the towns so far. You're doing South Plainfield uh, this week. Correct. Um, will you do a meeting in Carteret, Clark, Highland Park? We haven't been requested to do meetings in those places, but if asked, we will certainly show up. Okay, well, thank you for answering my questions. Have a good evening. All right, thank you. This is Dave Brogel, Middlesex Water Company. Um, what does this mean for folks in Highland Park? You have a different arrangement there than the rest of these towns, but it is still your service area. Should they be concerned about this type of chemical contamination? Highland Park is technically not our service area. We sell wholesale to them. For, to, they own their system. They just buy the water from us. So the water they're getting from us is straight from our surface plant, CJO plant, and that water goes directly into the in interconnections with Highland Park and that water level is below the 14. Okay, so they're not getting any water from the Park Avenue facility? No, they're facility. not getting any water from Park Avenue. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay, Have a good you're one. welcome.